Jellicoe Ball is back on Broadway. We're here at the Neil Simon Theater at the opening night of Cats. Oh my God, Cats is back on Broadway. Of course you guys had to be here, right? Oh yeah, we were gonna dress up like Cats, but she told me not to. He's got a little thing going on. I, was, I wanted to do whiskers and a nose, and then I freaked out. There's a makeup station right there, and there's plenty of time. Oh. <laughs> Literally do it, you, now, now that you've threatened it. Maybe I should. She's gonna do it. How does it feel so many years later to be back at a Broadway opening of Cats? Well, it's exciting, and it's, it's fun for me because um, I feel that I can really sit back and watch it tonight. And it, you know, it's a, it's a piece which, of course, is a hugely important part of my career. You're a theatrical institution. How have you never seen Pat? I've got 11 invitations, and I turned them all down because I'm a visionary, and I knew it would come back. Oh, the cat came back. You've been basically planning this night. You knew if it came back, you'd have to be there. Yes, I predicted Trump and cats. This was my childhood. Cats was it for me. I even did like a Jellicoe Ball competition dance routine everywhere in a cat's outfit. I came out of a trash can, like it was a whole thing. When I was a kid, the VHS was like constantly on in my house. I knew it by heart and I used to do the show in my backyard alone or with my siblings with overturned lawn furniture and trash cans. So I'm really excited. I've never seen it live in my whole life and I just cannot wait. I'm a dog person, so this is really saying something that I'm happy about cats. You've been in the litter box. I mean, you've been in the junkyard. You've done cats. I've done a Grizabella. I've been to the heaven. Watch it on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh, that wig. Whoever designed that, I forget her name. God bless. Um, but I've never seen it out front. Full confession, I grew up with seven cats at any given time. So like the thought that they actually came alive at night and like had their own lives, I think was just beyond me. I think I like to think that my cats were doing the same thing. So they actually were. I think your cats are doing numbers and having different identities, different names that you don't know about? Probably right now. They're all like, she's at the opening. Cats is back. Crazy, right? Cats is back. Cats is back. <laughs> Do you ever have dreams of being one of the kitty cats and cats? You know, sure, Grisabella, of course. Who wouldn't want to be? It's such a diva part. You, you never had fancies of being one of the kitty cats in, up there? In another life, I was a dancer, but I stay in my lane. I know what I can do, and it's not that. You could be Deuteronomy in the next revival. Okay. All right. <laughs> do you like my my purse? Get it? Yeah. Been dying to use that joke for so long, and now, tonight. Frickin' Jellica Ball tonight. Uh, Jell yes, I'm attending. You're going. I'm going to the Jellica Ball. All right, for the first time. Oh my God! Opening night. You're the Rum Tum Tugger. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, it's pre it's pretty wild. I had to like calm myself down a lot during the or doing everything today because I was just like, this is the best thing ever. Like I was fangirling out. <laughs> I am so happy that tonight went off without a hitch, and I'm happy for the show to finally be ours and to really start to explore our characters now. You've danced on Broadway a bunch before this choreography career and directing career, so I actually had to look to remind myself if you were in Cats, but you actually weren't. I was never in Cats, and actually this show marks the first time that I've choreographed more shows than I danced in. I danced in seven Broadway shows. This is my eighth show as a choreographer. Congratulations. Thank you. But I never got to do Cats, and I always wanted to. I think I can say without exaggeration, I think it's the most fun I've had doing a show. It is exhilarating. And there are times when you're on stage, we're doing some iconic move or something, where you, you look out and you feel yourself doing this move, and you think, I'm in Cats. I'm in Cats on Broadway. It's crazy. I did Cats on Broadway when it was originally on Broadway. Um, I was in it right before it closed, and to be able to do it again is beyond anything I could ever dream. It's kind of like the ultimate triple threat show, isn't it? I mean, you guys start doing everything up there. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. We're dancing, we're singing, we're acting, we're crying, we see the audience crying. It's amazing. It's the full pack. Was it terrifying to wear a unitard on Broadway? I thought it would be terrifying, but it, it's amazing how when you're just in normal <laughs> rehearsal clothes, being a cat feels like a big leap. But then when you're in a unitard, and especially with the, the leg and the arm warmers, it feels really stupid to walk around not like a cat. When you put on the cat makeup, the cat costume, and the wig, and it takes it to an entirely new level, and it's almost freaky. You start like doing weird things and like rubbing yourself in weird ways that you've never done before, and then you're like, oh my goodness, I'm turning into a cat. <laughs> How awesome is it to look in the mirror and see yourself as the Rum Tum Tugger? I mean, come on. At first it was a little strange because I was like, wow, there he is. And now I have a hard time getting out of character once I'm in it. I mean, ask the wig people. They take my wig off and I'm like, 
it's still very crass and uh, a little out there, but it's, I mean, it, I love him. He's so much fun. Doing that Jellicle ball, it's just like, so it enraptures you, and you don't even know what's happening until you button it, and you're like, wow, it was just a cat on Broadway for 12 minutes dancing around. And it's just like, that's the most amazing thing ever. It's our job. <laughs>